Five at six. Hello and thanks so much for joining us for News 5 at 6. Also live on your favorite streaming device, I'm Diane Derby. Good evening, I'm Rob Quirk. Farmers, the backbone of one of Colorado's biggest money makers, agriculture. But they struggle in recent months as inflation seems relentless. And soon, we all could be paying for it. News 5's Natalie Chuck is joining us live from a farm in Pueblo County with a closer look at what's causing fertilizer prices to skyrocket. Natalie. Yeah, Diane and Rob, those fertilizer prices didn't only go up. They more than doubled at one point earlier this year. Crop dusters in town tell me a number of things caused this price hike, including inflation, supply chain issues, and the war that broke out in Ukraine. And while they are starting to see those prices drop, the prices at the grocery stores are probably going to stay high a little while longer. Tomatoes and chili are my favorite. Eric Hannigan's family has been growing crops in La Junta for 100 years. You watch movies and you see the like the romance and the pride, you know, of farmers, you know, they're tilling their soil, they're producing an abundant, abundant crop. And you think, I want that. But some of that is being lost right now. The romance of it all is running low, while fertilizer prices run high. So far, this, is, this year has been one of the, probably the most challenging that I've ever seen in my lifetime. Our prices have skyrocketed and availability is, it's hard to get. And it's not any easier for the middleman. Here, we're doing corn and alfalfa okay. uh, feed. President and CEO of Jetstream Ag Aviation, Sam Roggi, has been in the crop dusting business for about 20 years. He says the last year or so has felt like a juggling act. I would call to uh, order fertilizer, and it was difficult to give any individual farmer a quote as it would go up in price while you're on the phone. As of March, the cost of a common fertilizer, DAP, had hit a new record high, about $50 more than the previous high in 2008, according to DTN, a company focusing on agriculture information. And Viragi, relaying the prices to farmers isn't always easy. Sticker shock. Uh, they, uh, you know, it's like, wow, how are we going to survive this? Most of them are just kind of resigned to the fact that uh, they're not going to be as profitable. Comparing them to last year and previous years, you know, our revenues are way, way down. We're, fit, we're running 50% of our sales because farmers are affected by the drought. They're affected by the fertilizer and fuel prices. And the people who are going to pay the price are right here at the grocery stores. Consumers will definitely have to bear the brunt of it because uh, if farmers can't stay economically feasible, then we got to get our food from somewhere anyway. But for Hannigan, one rough year is worth it for the good ones. I couldn't imagine doing anything else. And it is a good life still, even if it's tough. And over the last few months, those fertilizer prices have started to slowly but surely go down. But the farmers here in Pueblo County tell me it really doesn't matter now that they've hit harvest season. They say the damage financially earlier this year has already been done. Reporting in Pueblo County, Natalie Chuck, News 5.